California Democrat overcame quirks in the state's electoral system and the managed to moon challenge to Republicans in most key congressional races à voters in a US. Stat shows candidat for November's midterm election. The state's unusual system for choosing candidate, in which the top two vote getter advance to the election regardless of party, had right the prospect of Democrat being locked out of competitive polls in conservative suburbs south of Los Angeles. In some areas, the large number of Democratic candidates risk at splintering the party's vote, though the same quirk also threatened to eliminate Republican John Cox from the race for governor. In the end, Democratic candidate made it through to the final vote, added Cox. One party rule in Sacramento is bad enough, S.I.D. Cox, referring to the Democrat, dominance of the legislature and all statewide officers. But one party elections is just plain an American, Democrat, buoyed by President Donald Trump is pour approval a rating and a string of victory in special election, hope to gain a majority in the 435 seat U.S. House of Representative by Flipping 23 Seats This Fall The party HAS targeted more than a dozen Republican held seats in California and New Jersey alone. Control of the House would likely stall much of Republican President Donald Trump's policy agenda, while ushering a new era of committee oversight and investigation into the administration. A power shift would also lend strength to any potential effort to impeach Trump if Democrat decide grounds exist, either by virtue of the ongoing probe into Russian election interference by special counsel Robert Mueller or other reasons. California is in a key to the eventual outcome in November. Democrats have taken IM at 10 of the 14 house seats held by Republicans. But strong turn by Republicans voters in all of the district underscore the challenge that Democrats will face in trying to win in the conservative areas that they have targeted in suburban areas near Los Angeles and Sacramento and in the agricultural San Joaquin Valley. The battle for a place on the final ballot was particularly dramatic in the 48th Congressional District, where voters chose Democrat Hillary Clinton over Trump in the 2016 presidential election but re-elected long-time Republican representative Dana Rora Barrer. So many Democrats were willing to challenge Rora Barrer that they divided their party's vote. With 414 of 415 press and reporting early Wednesday, Rora Barrer easily won a spot on the November ballot. Two Democrats, Arle Ruda and Dan Skirsted, were next separated by fewer than some vote, leaving the race too close to call. About 1,000 vote B and the two Democrats was Republican Scott Bo. If the final tally puts him ahead of them, it could set up a general election fight between Rora Barrer and his fellow Republican, ending Democrat chance to take that seat. In the race for governor, Democrat Gavin Newsom's first place finish over a field of 27 candidates was expected. But it is Cox's presence as a second candidate to advance to the November ballot that could color the race. Republicans hope will spur supporters to come out and vote in greater numbers, possibly improving the party's chance in congressional race. In New 
New Jersey, Establishment Back to Democrats Old Past Liberal Challenger in Key New Jersey Congressional Rassent Tuesday, Setting Up Contest in November That Will Test the Question of Whether More Moderate Candidate Will Far Better Again Republican in Swing District. In Southern New Jersey, where the retirement of a long time Republican Incomb gave Democrat an opening, state scene. Jeff Van Drew, a conservative Democrat, appeared set to prevail over left-leaning candidate frustrated by his past vote against same sex marriage and minimum wage increases. A will face Republican set Grossman, a formé city and county official, who emerged from a four-way contest. In a suburban New Jersey district, formé Obama official Tom Malinowski was well ahead of two Democrats backed by independent liberal group and will take on the moderate Republican leaner de l'ancien what is expected to be a competitive race. Democrats also hope to capture two other Republican held seats in the state. Republicans control both chambers of Congress. While Democrats need only a net total of two seats to take command of the Senate, Democratic senators must defend a bevy of seats in rural states such as Indiana, Montana, North Dakota and West Virginia that supported Trump two years ago. Voters on Tuesday also went to the polls to choose candidates in primary in Iowa, Mississippi, Alabama, Montana, South Dakota and New Mexico. A number of women won Democratic contest continuing a trend that began early year this year. Women will represent the party in Key House Race in Iowa, New Jersey and New Mexico, based on Tuesday's results. Reporting by Sharon Bernstein in Sacramento, California, Joseph Axin.